Hello everyone and welcome in another 8051 microcontroller assembly language programming tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to interface 4x3 keypad with 8051 microcontroller. So let's get started. Let's see a quick demo of our simulation. Uh, if we press the key uh, on the keypad 1 it will display the 1. We had used the active low logic and inverted the binary in microcontroller using the assembly language so the on led will indicate the one bit or the high bit and the off led will indicate a zero in the binary so if we press 2 it will display the binary of 2 if we press 3 it will display the binary of 3 which is 1 1 and uh, if we press 4 it will display the binary of 4 5 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, all LEDs off mean all LEDs are on zero condition, 10 which, which is 1, 0, 1, 0 and 11, 1, 0, 1, 1. So this is how this code is uh, in the simulation. Next we will discuss about the wirings the keypad has r1 r2 r3 and 4 four rows and three columns c1 c2 and c3 we attached c1 with port 1.1 c2 with port 1.2 and c3 with port 1.3 respectively r1 on port 1.4 r2 on bit of port 1 0.5 R3 on 1.6 and R4 on 1.7. Similarly, on the LED side, we use the port 0, 0, 0.0 as the bit 0 of the LED, 0 0.1 as the first bit of the LEDs, and 0 0.2 and 0 0.3. We had used our resistor pack because on the port 0, we need to attach an external resistor pack to drive the load other circuit will remain the same in the simulation we do not need the power section or the crystal section or the reset section and, and either we do not need to properly wire up or the power up these pens but if you are running this in the actual hardware you need to add a reset circuit capacitors on the crystal side and you need to put active high or the 5 volts on 31 EA pin. So if you are using the circuit in actual hardware, make sure that your power supply section and reset section is according to the 89C51 data sheet. Now let's talk about the assembly language code for the keypad interfacing. This code has uh, one key scan method which will scan the keypad. First of all, we equate uh, two ports, port 1 as a keypad port and port 0 as a LEDs port. After that, on origination 0 at address, we started our key scan function. This will be treated as our main function as well. If we move down on the this section, here we have defined our um, table for lookup table for the key uh, ports and we mentioned 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, 0 and B and uh, uh, first uh, uh, zero th uh, index is uh, labeled as FFH because we are not using the zeroth index. Uh, this is why because we have left open the port 1.0 and we had not connected port 1.0 to any of the column so if we are using 4x4 keypad we will connect this uh, 0th bit to the uh, 0th column or the 4th column and we will change these values according to the key codes <coughs> and here we have a delay 1 function for a little debouncing effect this is a one register delay function and it is uh, uh, repeated at two, uh, 255 times uh, which is the maximum limit of the 8-bit registers 
now the main key scan function uh, the main algorithm is uh, 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 first of all we put z uh, all the rows as zero and all the columns as one uh, the zeroth bit is ignored so we will be uh, make all the columns one and all the rows zero next we will uh, read the that port because uh, we just uh, written the zeroth on rows and uh, one on columns and if any key is pressed the respective column will also become zero because this zero will be shorted uh, and appeared on the respective key press column and we read the uh, we put the port value in the a register cumulative register so that we could compare that if it is the same value that we put on if it is the same which we had just put on it means no key is pressed and we will jump uh, back to the key scan so uh, this is basically compare and jump if not equal and uh, we will repeat this process until some key is pressed so you may be wondering that why it is treated as a no key uh, this it will be not equal if the key is pressed so this loop will make sure that it is a released all keys are released before we actually uh, checking the key press so uh, this will make sure that at uh, all the keys are released so this loop will be treated to make sure that no key press at the reading time so if there is a no key press so if any key is uh, not pressed then we will came here in the k2 loop in k2 loop we will take a little bit delay and then we put uh, the keypad port in a again and we will check again that it is equal or not if it is not equal we will jump to this over section but if it is pressed we will jump to the k2 loop again so now we will keep scanning any key press remember this loop will check that if all the keys are released and once all keys are released we will come to the k2 loop in k2 loop we will check that all if any key is pressed if no key press then we will keep checking until some key is pressed once a key is pressed we will come down in the over loop in over we will double check that the key is pressed if it is some bounced value and key is pressed shorter than the delay one time then we will jump back to the key two if the key is pressed long enough then we will come to the over one loop and this is the actual keypad decoding function what we will do we will make first row zero and all the rows and all the columns one so this is to make sure which row is pressed For in this over one loop we are checking which row is pressed so first of all we make first row zero and read if it is equal and if it is not equal it means that row zero is pressed but if it is equal we make row 1 0 and read if row 1 is pressed then if we will jump to the row 1 and we will repeat for all rows likewise uh, in the row section row 0 row 1 2 and 3 what we will do we need to uh, load the key code value 0 in the dptr which will be pick up from here this is the respective row we are dealing and we will jump to the find branch and all the rows will load the respective row from the lookup table and move to the find branch this is the find branch the find branch what we do is rotate 
the accumulator in the carry flag and jump if not carry and if the respective flag is zero it means we match the column as well but if it is not it means we did not match the column so we will increment the dptr and move to the next column once the column is matched we will clear the a register and we will load the respective column value from the lookup table into the accumulator a register then we will cpl the a the complementing or the inverting the a register will affect the uh, the leds because we had connected the leds in active low manner so and we want the on led to indicate a one so we are complementing the accumulator register and after that we will move uh, we will write this a register to the leds port and we will jump back to key scan function and once we are here now we need to make sure that user release the key which it pressed before and once all the keys are released we are ready to read again so that's all for keypad scanning in 8051 in assembly language thank you